light shines in the darkness for the upright. The righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending and to manage their affairs with justice, for they will never be shaken. The righteous will be kept in everlasting remembrance. They will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart is right. They put their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until they see their desire upon their enemies. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their head with honor. Today we remember Dominic, priest and friar. Dominic was the founder of the Order of Preachers, commonly known as Dominicans. In England, they were called Black Friars because of the black mantle they wore over their white habits. Dominic was born about 1170, or shortly thereafter, in Spain. Influenced by the contemporary search for a life of apostolic poverty, Dominic is said to have sold all his possessions to help the poor during a famine in 1191. Ordained in 1196, he soon became a canon and then sub-prior of the Cathedral of Osma, where a rule of strict discipline was established among the canons. In 1203, he began a number of preaching tours in Languedoc, a region in southern France, against the Albigensian heretics who held Manichaean dualistic views. He kept himself aloof, however, from repressive crusade, which was instigated against them. In 1214, his plan to found a special preaching order for the conversion of the Albigensians began to take shape and in the following year, he took his followers to Toulouse. At the Fourth Lateran Council in October 1215, Dominic sought confirmation of his order from Pope Innocent III. This was granted by Innocent's successor, Honorius III, in 1216 and 1217. Over the next few years, Dominic traveled extensively establishing friaries, organizing the order, and preaching until his death on August 6, 1221. He is said to have been a man of austere poverty and heroic sanctity, always zealous to win souls by the preaching of pure doctrine. The Dominican Constitutions, first formulated in 1216, and revised and codified by the Master General of the Order, Raymond of Penafort, in 1241, place a strong emphasis on learning, preaching, and teaching, and partly through the influence of Francis of Assisi on absolute poverty. The Dominicans explicitly gave priority to intellectual work. They established major houses in most university centers, to which they contributed such notable teachers as Thomas Aquinas. Their constitutions express the priority this way. In the cells, moreover, they can write, read, pray, sleep, and even stay awake at night if they desire on account of study. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose servant Dominic grew in knowledge of your truth and formed an order of preachers to proclaim the good news of Christ, give to all your people a hunger for your word and an urgent longing to share the gospel, that the whole world may come to know you as you are revealed in your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.